hi friends welcome to another video on HTML forms so in the previous video we have learned how to create this HTML form this basic HTML form so if you have not watched my previous video you can watch it I will link that in the description so in this video we are going to improve our form and add some basic form elements and we will also learn about some basic tags that are used along with forms so let's get started so the first thing that we will see is if you observe in this checkbox and radio button area we can see that there is no connection between our checkbox this checkbox and this text so we have written this java over here and there is no connection between java and this text box so we have just placed that in front and we just assume that if we click on this checkbox it is for java but there's a tag in html that we can use to link both of these elements so the tag is called label so as the name suggests if we include the tag label in our form what we can do is we can link checkbox or radio buttons to the label so we will type in label and in label we will just type in whatever we had written in front of it so we can see that label our label is displayed in front of our checkbox right now it is not connected to our checkbox so to connect it we have to include the id of our checkbox in this label so first of all we will create an id for our checkbox so we will type in id is equal to java so in the label tag what we can do is type in for and in for we can type in what this label is attached to so in for we will type the id of our checkbox which is for java and now if we save this file and if we look on look here both of these are connected so even if we click on this java label the checkbox is selected now we can see that both this label and this checkbox is connected whereas if we see here in case of python if we click on python i'm clicking on python but it is not selecting the checkbox so we will do the same for python as well here we will type in label and for python and we will also create an id for python checkbox id is equal to python so now if we save this and type in python over here and remove this text now we can see that our python is connected to the checkbox now we have connected both these checkboxes to their labels we will do the same with our radio buttons so type in label and for android we'll also create an id for that android and we'll create a label for ios as well so we'll type in id is equal to ios we also have to include this android text inside our label so this ios text inside our label so now we have connected these radio buttons and these checkboxes to their labels so that is how you can use a label and attach our text to these elements both these elements so the next thing that i'm going to talk to you about is called field set so a field set is used to group some of the elements form elements that we have so in here if we type in field set and if we include for example these three elements till here 
in our field set then we can see that these three elements are combined and grouped separately and we can create another field set for this field set and we will end it over here before our buttons right over here so now we can see that we have separated both these different sections of our HTML form so a field set is used for that so along with that there is a tag called legend in field set which we can use to label our sections so we will type in here legend and in here we will type in basic information so we can see that this legend or this title is displayed in our in this section we can do the same with our second section so we'll type in legend and we will type here programming specific so we have our two sections so legend can be used in a field set and we can separate any two parts or any multiple parts of our form elements and group them together so that's how you can use a field set and a legend tag so these are basically the two basic things that i wanted to share in this video now further you can go ahead and style these different sections and you can create some amazing html forms out there so it's up to you how you can create and design your html forms so i hope that you have liked this video if you like this video please click on the like button i i really appreciate that and if you would like to see such kind of videos in the future you can subscribe to my channel and i'll be adding more such videos so thank you so much for watching.